guys so today i wanted to take you through my pamper routine i don't do this all the time but i do think lately i have been enjoying taking more time for my self-care and i've been really enjoying watching videos <laughs> so cute i've been really enjoying watching self-care videos it just seems very relaxing to watch calming and i wanted to create that atmosphere for you guys when you watch my videos so i thought today would be a good day i feel like i've seen a lot of these videos out there oh yeah and i want to talk about aromatherapy and how i use my essential oils i get all of my oils from young living and you just got to be so careful with where you get your essential oils definitely do your research so today i'm just going to show you a few oils and how i use them i don't really like the word pamper but we're going to have a nice at-home spa today we're gonna unwind relax get comfy cos as comfy cos is stormy is right now she's not the cutest dog in the whole wide world i hope you can find just a little bit of your day where you can take the time to treat yourself because it's so important to take care of who you are mentally physically so that you can be the best person for yourself and then for others because if you're not good with yourself you definitely can't be good for other people around you i'm not a mom yet but i have been watching a lot of family vlogs and I can see that all of these parents that are not typically stay-at-home parents are like holy moly So I hope you guys can find a time in your day just a little chunk of time that you can treat yourself I know over here. I don't have to homeschool kids I really just have to watch over my dog So I definitely have more time given to me than people who are parents But for those of you who are parents and are watching I just hope that this inspires you to just take a little bit of time out of your day and treat yourself. All right, I'm cold, so I'm gonna get my sweater on and then we are gonna start our cozy spa day. I've been wearing this sweater nonstop. It's from Boohoo. I love Boohoo, super cheap and affordable. And this is just one of the comfiest pieces of clothes I've got in a long time. It's an oversized sweater, California West Coast, where I'm at, and I just love it. All right, let's get started. So to start it off, we're going to make a little at-home spa drink. It is not necessary, but it's just super fun to make. And I've been loving Goop Glow lately. It has a lot of great supplements in it for your skin. If you don't have Goop Glow, that's totally fine. There's a few recipes online you can find, but typically it's just water, lemon, citrus, fruit, whatever you wanna do to flavor your water. I just take my little frothy mixer and then mix in the powder. I love this little thing. It's just a fun little tool to have in your kitchen. It just makes everything come together. And then I'm going to cut up some of these cucumbers, toss them into my water just to add an extra little flavor and it's just really pretty looking in my cup. So I'm going to take my drink and walk my little booty, actually I got a big booty, who am I kidding, over to the bathroom because this is where I'm going to take care of my skin, take a bath and unwind, take a little sippy sip, cheers to me, and let's get started. I love to listen to Enya. As I get the things for my bath prepared, I have always listened to her. I grew up on her when I was younger. My mom used to play her. She's just really, really calming to me. So I'm going to start my bath. I love super, super hot baths. Like I like to sweat. And then I've been loving the Dr. Teal's foaming bath and then the Himalayan pink sea salt, the Epsom salts, whatever you have, just use. You do not have to have specifically what I have, but just try to have a bubble bath if you can. Make some bubbles, use a whisk in your bath, I don't know. Sometimes I use a bath bomb just to really spice things up a bit, but it's, it's only for certain occasions. And I love this herbivore coconut milk bath soak. It is very expensive, so I use just a smidge in my bath, and then I'm going to get a few essential oils to put into my diffuser. I think I'm going to go with this Peace and Calming 2 I've been loving, and then the White Angelica my friend Brandy gave me, I think will be a really great combination to put into my diffuser. Peace and Calming 2 probably is one of my favorite blends from Young Living because it has things like tangerine, orange, ylang ylang, patchouli, chamomile, just really yummy cozy scents. White Angelica has rose, geranium, ylang ylang, sacred sandalwood, a lot of other things in here, but it is so calming smelling and I heard you can actually put it in your moisturizer as well, which I want to try. And I also want to show you a little tip for anyone who does have this diffuser. You can just take the top and turn it upside down, put your water in it, and it will perfectly add to the top of your diffuser, your water. You don't have to worry about getting a cup or anything. And I'm going to put a few drops of my peace and calming in here. It goes quick, so be careful and then my white angelica. I'm gonna pop on the top of my diffuser and now I got to pick the color that I want, which is so fun. It just depends on my mood on what I wanna go for, but I've been seeing a lot of like galaxy looking TikToks, so I feel like I wanna make my, my bathroom look a little bit blue purple, so this was the perfect color for me. 
I decided I wanted to watch a Disney movie because one, I've been loving Disney Plus, and two, Disney movies just make me really happy and feel really relaxed, so why the heck not? Now that my bath is ready and I got my Disney movie going, I just have to undress and turn off all the lights so that I can set the ambiance, and voila, looks really cozy. I decided to watch The Little Mermaid just because I just thought I was in the bath, might as well be a mermaid, why not? It's a great movie, haven't seen it in a little bit. She's one of my faves. I have just been cherishing my bath times lately. It just makes me feel so happy and comfy goes. Now that I've sat in there for about 30 minutes because I was fully invested in Ariel and Sebastian Flounder, I'm going to put my hair back so that I can start my skincare facial routine it's not in depth, it's not very professional, but it's just something that I like to do that makes my skin feel really refreshed and glowy. I go in with my micellar water. I am obsessed with this stuff. It's from Garnier and I put it on my gauze pads because I was told by a facialist, not personally, but I just saw her on YouTube and she said that if you use gauze, it's just a lot gentler on your skin. So I did it and I love it and I use it all the time now. No cotton pads for me. After I get off all of this makeup, I'm going to turn on my favorite Kinja facial steamer. I love this steamer. It's so great. It's pretty affordable. I take off the little top where the water goes in, and I recently, I saw on someone's YouTube channel, they did this, and they put essential oil into the top of the diffuser, and I thought that was a great idea. So I use peppermint because I feel like that really opens up my sinuses, and it's just a refreshing scent to smell in, so why not? Just a few drops, you don't need too many. You don't wanna like blow your face off with peppermint, but just a little bit of a nice scent to go on your face while you are steaming away. So as my facial steamer is warming up, I'm going to put on my cleanser. I love the company Fresh. They are so great with their products. They smell amazing. I just like to cleanse while I put my face into the steamer. And yes, this looks dramatic, but it feels so good when you just smack your face up and down and use your knuckles to kind of carve out the caves into your cheeks. This is really gonna get your blood flowing in your face and just take some extra time to really cleanse your face, let the steam open up your pores and the cleanser will get deep in there. Now to tighten your pores, use cold water and then pat dry your face. Do not drag because you will create fine wrinkles if you drag, so pat dry. And then I'm gonna go in with my rose face mask, also from Fresh, I know it's a common theme, but I really love that company. And this is gonna be my first layer of skincare. And I'm just going to create a thin layer all over my face, all over my neck, I am by no means a professional facialist. I don't even feel like I need to say that because obvi, but just I'm just gonna say it again. So if anyone's wondering if this doesn't work for you, that's okay. I've tried a lot of different things for my skin and I really like to take this face mask and put it into the steamer and let this first layer of face mask seep in. And do not forget your neck. Your neck is very important as well. After three to four minutes, I will wash this face mask off and then go in with another face sheet mask. I love this Pixi Plump Collagen Boost Face Mask. I recently just discovered them and they are awesome. I have the glow one as well. Pixie is a brand that you can find at the drugstore, which means that it is more affordable than some other face masks you may find at Sephora or Ulta. I really love sheet masks though. Like I just feel like they really seep into my skin. They feel good. I prefer them probably over mud masks. Definitely, actually I do. And I think I look so funny with it on. I always think it's funny like what we will do for beauty and how we'll look during it. And then I go in with the jade roller just to get the serum to really seep into my skin. Deep breathing can be really calming to me. So I wanted to show you just a few of my deep breathing techniques. Nothing drastic, just in and out. So I am out of all of my lavender lotion, so I'm going to use my Kiehl's lotion and just kind of create my own lavender lotion with the Kids Scent Sleepy Eyes. This is already diluted down with coconut oil, so that is why it's good for kids. I'm just using it because I like to topically apply it without lotion anyways. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to make my own, rub it into the lotion, and it does the exact same trick as if you were to buy store-bought lavender lotion. And this is very, very hydrating and very soothing because 
because of the lavender. Now I'm going to take off my sheet mask which has been sitting on there for about 15 to 20 minutes. What I like to do with the excess serum from the face mask is apply it to my legs, my arms, my stomach, wherever I feel like needs to be a little bit more hydrated. You don't want to forget your body. And then I'm going to go in with my Mint Julep Lip Scrub. I've mentioned this in the past and I've had very, very bad chapped lips. And I have finally found a routine that no longer makes my lips chapped, cracked, dried. They are smooth as a baby's booty because of this lip scrub. And then the two other lip masks that I use, I use the Laneige Lip Mask in Vanilla Scent and the Kopari Lip Glossy, which is basically a chapstick throughout the day. The lip mask is a little bit more hydrating as you sleep, but I love the Kopari Lip Glossy. It smells amazing and it's super, super hydrating. And I just absolutely love this company. Now, I would say that this next step is probably an excessive step because you did have that face mask on which did get under your eyes, but if you feel like your eyes need a little bit more hydration and a little bit more extra TLC, then do an eye mask. And I love this eye mask. I wore these at my wedding and they definitely kept my eyes nice and bright and tight. So I'm going to walk over to the kitchen and treat myself a little bit because, you know, we're having a spa day. Gotta have a little sweet treat. I've been loving these sweet potato cups by Hail Mary. They are so good and really low in sugar and they're just like the perfect treat. I just have one or two. And then I like to get into my cozy bed and eat my treat and journal it up. I am a journaler. I love to write down my memories. There's so many things that you would think you would remember but you don't if you don't write them down and it's so nice to look back on those moments that you may have forgotten whether they're big or small. Definitely the small ones I feel like end up being the most meaningful and if you don't write them down then sometimes you just won't remember it. I feel like definitely during the time that we are in right now, it is nice to let down your thoughts and just kind of get rid of that anxiety that we obviously cannot control during this situation. Just make the best of it, eat a little dessert, that always helps, and just try to relax as much as possible. Now that I've written down all of my thoughts, it's time to lock in all that skincare you just did. Typically, I take my face cream and mix it with frankincense at night because it is the king of all oils. It's really great for your skin. It smells amazing, but I think I'm going to try White Angelica today because I read that it does the same kind of thing as frankincense when it comes to your skin. So I'm just going to try it out, see how it is. I love this face cream. It's nice and thick and hydrating. I have normal to dry skin and this definitely gets the job done. All right, I am all done. It feels so good. I feel so good. I love when I do this for myself. It is the best feeling ever to take care of yourself, whether that's skincare or working out, eating healthy. I mean, just take the time to do it. It is worth it. And I hope you guys felt relaxed while you watched this video and were inspired to do something that I did for yourself today. And thank you so much for keeping up with me. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.